Hi, this is Brad Ott, Director of Instruction here at TPC Craig Ranch McKinney. We're in our beautiful new bunkers here. Uh, I'm going to talk to you about a specialty shot. A lot of my weekend golfers struggle with this shot. And I'm going to kind of give you uh, some insight and hopefully uh, delete some of the mystery of this golf shot. It's a, a short-sighted bunker shot. The guys on tour, they make it look pretty easy. Uh, it's, it's not that easy of a shot, but if you use the right technique, you're going to find out it's, it's not that difficult of a shot. So what you're trying to do on this is you're trying to get the ball up in the air and get it to stop pretty quick. We all know to get the ball up in the air, we're going to have to use loft. At least we hope we know that. Some people, I've, I've been taught over the years to get the ball high, you change your golf swing, you become a little bit more vertical. The reality is, wherever this sand goes, in other words, if the club face is open, the ball is going to be pushed up with that sand. Wherever the sand goes, that's where the ball goes. If the club face is more square, sand's going to be pushed out, so it means the ball is going to be pushed out, so it's not going to go quite as high. So it's paramount in this one that you actually lay the club face completely open. Uh, when I have a lot of my amateurs look at this, when they see the club face that open, it's a little bit disturbing to their eyes. So that's probably the hardest part you're going to have to overcome is, is dealing with the fact that you're looking at a golf club that's on the ground that's completely open. It'll take a little bit of practice, I'm not going to lie to you. But once you get it, you're going to find out it's, uh, it's, the, it's the best way to get the ball up in the air. The next thing you need to do is you got to get wide. The thing about opening up a club face is you have to get wide to lower your hands because that club face, when you open it, it actually gets flatter. So the way to overcome that is to get wide and get your hands low. And this is probably the most critical component to hitting a high soft bunker shot is getting your feet really wide so you can see it. It's much wider than any shot I'm going to hit out of a chip shot or a, bunker, or a normal bunker shot. So the key is to get real wide. You're going to get your hands down low. If you can get your hands low, your feet wide, at that point in time, you're really just hitting a bunker shot like you would any other shot. It's just you're in a little bit different setup position. So once you do that, it should look something like this. Just relax. You see the ball come up high and soft. Hopefully it'll stay about four or five feet from the hole. We'd take that one. But the key to this is get the hands low, feet wide, and lay that club face wide open. If you do that, a little bit of practice, you'll see the ball start to get up in the air, come down soft, and if you have these shots where you're really short-sided, you should be able to get them up and down.